on part eight, the final part, the rematch of the Elite Four. Last time, we have completed all side questions from Island Four to Seven. Uh, stopping Team Rocket once or ever, and say that they're ending it all for now. In this part, we're gonna rematch the Elite Four, and also we did catch the legendary birds and you two. So you know that's great. And now it's time to battle League 4. I raised my Pokemon all the way to level 65. I told you at the Island 7 or 6, based that one trainer has the Tangela and the two Executors. Because if you rematch them, he'll have like an Execute and Executor. But after rematching them, he'll have two Executors. And the other girl had the Chansey. And it gives you a lot of experience by defeating them. And raising them to 65 is your recommended to go. So getting all that money. Uh, well, I overspin. <laughs> Got 65 Hyper Nose Potions, 45 Revives, 30 Full Heals, and I just bought some random, but just random stuff, and kept my Ultra Balls, funny enough. Um, so there's only one thing we got is only new, is Jolteon, you learn, well, I taught it Shadow Ball by buying the TM from, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the, the Games Corner. Since, you know, this is the end game and we don't have much to do with this game, so why not buy the Shadow Ball? Even though, even though Shadow Ball is physical in this game, but since, let's see, since uh, Shadow K Double Kick is weaker and Shadow Ball is a little bit stronger, plus it has a chance to lower the special defense too, which is cool. And plus, Shadow Ball was originally supposed to be special, but they accidentally made a mistake and made it physical and they didn't fix it until Diamond Pearl and Platinum, which is kind of weird. But overall... It's time to rematch the League 4. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I, Lorelei of the League 4, have returned. You know how it goes. No one can beat me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at mercy when they are frozen solid. Ha 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 ha. You ready? Uh, last time you said that, it did not work. Alright, next we're going to face Lorelei in for the League 4. Um, they're all going to still have five Pokemon, but their Pokemon has changed in some ways, and they're a higher level. So, we're going to start with Dugon, Thick Thack, Water and Ice, with the moves Surf, Ice Beam, Single Beam, and Double Team. But this time does not have a uh, Hail, so you don't have to worry about it. But we're going to hit it with a crazy flimsy plant, because this thing will 100% go down. And also, if you use Thick, th thick Thack for effect, so if you use a Fire and Water, it just cuts in half. And I don't know why we'll use Water, because it'll be resistant to it. Alright. Next is going to send out Cloyster. Level 63. Shell armor for an effect. Wa uh, water and ice with the moves. Rain does surf, ice beam, and supersonic. Um... Oh yeah, I forgot one more thing. I did teach uh, Lapras Thunder. Oh, I did not. Oops. I was going to post. I supposed to teach Lapras Thunder. I forgot to do that. My bad. I thought I did it. My bad. My bad. We'll teach you right after this battle. Alright, next, we'll just hit it with a flamethrower, and this thing will 100% go down. Yeah. Next is Pamela Swine, her newer Pokemon, Ground and Ice. Uh, oblivious for ability, has the move Earthquake, Blizzard, Double Edge, and Rock Slide. Um... We'll keep Arcanine on the field. We can just hit it with a strong flamethrower. Yeah. Yeah. Next, she's going to send out her Lapras, her strongest Pokemon. It has the Cherry Berry, so don't try to paralyze it with Water Absorb, level 66. With the move Psychic Thunder, Ice Beam, and Surf. It's almost like my Lapras. So I just need, I just need to teach my Lapras uh, Thunder and replace it with Body Slam. I just forgot to do that when I was off screen training. But eh, everybody forget for some reason. So let's hit it with a Thunderbolt. See, hopefully this will take it down. I doubt it's going to take it down because this thing is a bulky tank. It has a crap ton of HP. So let's see. Yeah, it does half. And it paralyzes it, and it's going to use its Cherry Berry right away. It's gonna use surf. We survive. 
Yeah, you survived. And, oh, also, um, you know where you catch Snorlaxes, the two areas? So I did use the item finder on the other Snorlax where I didn't use it to find the leftovers and found another leftovers. So yeah, you can you can technically get two leftovers by just going over where Snorlax used to be and just use the item finder. So, yeah. Next, he's going to send out Jinx with Oblivious Foot Ability, uh, level 66 with a move, Psychic Ice Beam, Lovely Kiss, and Attract. Uh, we're going to get Kuchu Tops out because... Rooftops has a really high physical attack, and this thing will probably go down if I land this uh, this rock slide. It's faster, and it missed. Good. I thought I would be faster. Dang, I guess Jinx is faster. Huh. And it went down! Good job, Control Tops. Things shouldn't be this way. I got $6,600. You're better than I thought. Go on ahead. You only got a taste of the Pokemon's League power. Alright, now let's go and heal. So, use our Hyper Potion here. And we'll go to our TM and teach Lapras Thunder. I know Thunder's a little inaccurate with against Body Slam, but. I kind of like ha having all different types on there. Alright, we got Thunder. Alright. The next battle is Bruno. So we're going to change it to Arcanine. There's a reason why. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. Through regions training, people in Pokemon can become stronger without limit. I lived, uh, I, I've lived and trained with my fighting Pokemon, and that will never change. Joshua, we will grind you down with our superior power. Hooah! Alright. So we have Bruno! Here, the, you know, the karate master, I could say, the true karate master. He's going to start out with Steelix, 65, with ability sturdy, but this is not the good sturdy, because sturdy will stop a one-hit KO move, while sturdy can keep you to one health, so he can be taken out in one move. Uh, overall, it has the ability, er, uh, sturdy, oh yeah, sturdy, with the moves, Earthquake, Rock Tomb, Crunch, and Iron Tail. This is a much better Steelix than its Onyx, originally, and since it's Stealing ground with not the best special defense, so this flamethrower should take it out. Yeah. He's gonna send out his another Steelix. Crazy enough. Low 66, sturdy with ability. With the moves Dragon Breath, Iron Tail, Earthquake, and Crunch. They're both good. They have both good moves. Uh, the only difference is uh, one has Rock Tomb, the other one has Dragon Breath. And, but the thing is, they're both steel and doesn't have the greatest special defense, and yeah. Oh, brother, really, much better than the Onyx family. Next, we have him on Chan. Um, we'll get Jolteon out. Him on Chan is level 65, key 9 for ability, with the move Sky Uppercut, Max Punch, Rock Slide, and Counter. So if I hit it with a Shadow Ball, it would be a bad idea because Shadow Ball is physical in this game. And I did half damage, so one more hit will take it out. Or should take it out. Oh wow, that Sky Rover did a lot of damage than I thought it would. Oh right, forgot. That punch is a priority move. Damn it. Mm. Alright, we'll get Fear out. That's fine. Is this thing will 100% not survive a drill pack? Next, he's gonna send out him on Lee, level 65, Limber for Defect ability. Uh, Mega Kick, Foresight, Earthquake, and Rock Slide. So it doesn't have High Jump Kick, but it'll be a better move than Mega Kick because Foresight will make it that it'll hit the Pokemon no matter what. And High Jump Kick is a much powerful move. But then make a kick, but it's whatever. And it did not survive. Aha. Uh -huh. Next, he's going to send down his strongest Pokemon, Machamp. Oh, 68 has the Persian Berry, so if you uh, confuse it, it will, you know, 
know, it would recover. 68 guts for ability with the moves Brick Brick, Earthquake, Rock Slide, and Cross Drop. This thing is will hit hard, and I think this will actually take out Firo if the Rock Slide lands. Uh, and it's going to use Cross Drop. That's crazy. Why wouldn't you use, um. Huh. If you use Rock Slide, he'll 100% take out Firo. That's weird. Yeah, well, I guess we'll just take it out. Nice. There you go. My job is done. Go face your next challenger. Alright, or challenge. Um. We still have three max revives. Can we talk about that? Alright, well, we're not going to use the max revives until we get to the, to the last battle. But yeah, if you kind of notice... That the Leak Four so far has at least one Pokemon from Johto, so you know Pamela's fine for uh, uh, for Lorelei and Steelix for Bruno. Even though he has two, but yeah, it makes sense because why not have one Steelix and one Onix? But you know, uh, my God, I'm just trying to think. Um, you know, give me one second. Yeah, I think I'm going to do with this. Yeah, I'm going to hook up with uh, Lapras. Alright, let's do this. I think Lapras would be good enough. I am Agatha of the League 4. You're the child that Alok's Ta taken under the wing, aren't you? That's old Duff was once tough and handsome, but Nat was decades ago. He's a shadow of his former self. Now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokédex. He's wrong! Bookmark for battling! Gosh, I'll show you who, how the true trainer battles! Um, okay, Agatha. So we have Agatha! He's gonna start with a Gengar, level 66 with Levitate, so do not hit with the ground moves. With the moves. Confused Race, Shadow Punch, Hypnosis, and Psychic. So the only thing can kind of hurt you the most is her Psychic. Because Shadow Punch is physical in this game. Actually, no, Shadow Punch is special, actually. Never mind, actually, it's going to be kind of good. And she used Psychic, and we use Psychic. We'll see who does more. Yeah. And trying to use Hypnosis, and it missed. Thank God for 60% accuracy. Next, he's going to send out Mitch, Miss Trevious. Um, let me try this out. Uh, Miss Trevious is level 65. Levitate for ability. Uh, with the moves Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, Psychic, and Attract. Oh, wow, we're both male, so she can't use Attract because Attract has to be a different gender. Except for genderous. We're going to hit with a Shadow Ball, and that did a lot of damage. Holy crap. And she's going to use her own Shadow Ball. And I think Mistrevious gets a little bit better on there. Because I think Mistrevious has a little bit of physical attack. That didn't much. Oh well. Yeah, we're going to hit it with a Shadow Ball once again. And that will all go down. Yeah, I put Shotu on, on a level 65. It has actually a pretty good physical attack. So that's why I decided to teach it. Uh, Shadow Ball. Alright, next is going to send out Arbok. Arbok. Um, level 68, Intimidate for the ability, with the moves Double Team, Sludge Bomb, Earthquake, and Giga Drain. This is an interesting Arbok, to be honest. This is actually a not bad Arbok, even though it has the annoying ass, um, Double Team, but, oh god, he's using it right now. But it doesn't matter, I do have Arcanine that can use, uh, has, uh, arrow. <laughs> really? You're gonna really start missing? Oh no. Really? After the first one, you miss. Oh, okay, but you hit it out there. Him using her using uh two. Oh, oh my god, I hate this. Uh, use a sludge bomb. Of course you miss. Really? Man, I got screwed over over one double team. Ugh. All right, well we we get Arcanine out. We'll hit it with air release. Really? 
Really? Oh my god. I don't like you, Agatha. And you're gonna miss your plane. Sorry, right, hit. Sweet. Are you serious? Yes, it hit! Yes! Yes! Oh my god, that was so annoying. Next, she's gonna send out her Crobat. Oh, 66. And her focus for the ability. With the moves, Confuse Ray, Shadow Ball, Air Cutter, and Sludge Bomb. To be honest, actually, this Crobat is actually really good, too. Glad she able to evolve it. So we hit it with Thunderbolt. Oh wow, it survived. Holy crap. Hey, it survived this Thunderbolt. Oh my lord. Jolteon, you're awesome. Go hit the Thunderbolt, even though she's gonna uh full restore. Alright, come on. Come on. Oh, that time they killed it. Makes sense. <laughs> Next, she's gonna send out her Gengar level 70 with Chesto Berry. So if you put it to sleep, it'll wake up with the ability Levitate. Has the move Shadow Ball, Psychic, Thun Sludge Bomb, and Thunderbolt. Uh, we're gonna hit it with Shadow Ball, see how much damage I'll do. I could just hit it with a uh, uh, Thunder Wave to get it paralyzed, but oh well. Oh, that did half damage. Ooh, special defense drop too. Mm. And ha 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 ha! sword, baby. Wait, why would you use Thunderbolt? You should use Psychic. That would 100% take it out. I guess he thinks I was switching. That's weird. All right. Well, I guess we'll just Shadow Ball again and take it out. Even though I could just use Thunderbolt and take it out. That's crazy. Oh my God. I don't know what she was thinking. Her eye, eye. Oh my! You're something special, child. And you got some thousand Poké Dollars from the old lady. You win. I see what the old Duff sees you now. I have nothing else to say. Run along, child. All right. Choose our potions. Uh, only one faint because I, I would have actually faint too. Don't think I would have fainted, but you know, I guess he's just an idiot. All right, we're gonna switch up our team. We're gonna put, no, not Firo. We're gonna put Jolteon in the front. All right, let's do this. <laughs> ah, so you've returned, Joshua. I lead the Leaf Forward. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You know that dragons are a mythical Pokemon. They are hard to catch and rise, but they, their powers are superior. They're valuably indestructible. There's no way being clever with them. Well, are you ready to lose? Your league challenge ends with me, Josh. All right, well, we're facing Lance, uh, the Hyper Beam Spammer, which uh, his team has Hyper Beam once again. Uh, <laughs> Overall, he's going to start by the uh, Gyarados, level 68, Intimidate for ability, with the moves Dragon Dance, Dragon Wave, Hyper Beam, and Earthquake. This thing is... It's not good. I have to admit, it's not that good, because the only hitting move it can be is Earthquake or Hyper Beam. And the funny thing is, if you have a Gengar, this thing cannot touch you. Because Earthquake's ground, Gengar has Levitate. Hyper Beam's normal, Gengar's Ghost. So, yeah, it's, maybe if it doesn't have dragon, I, I don't know. It's whatever. All right, well, Jolteon's level 67, 66. All right, next is going to start with uh, Aerodactyl. That's kind of scary. Uh, Rockin'. Hmm. I'm trying to think what I should use. Oh, he's Rock. <sighs> Whiskey Cuckoo Top Top. Uh, rock and flying with the ability rock head with the moves Aero Lace, Earthquake, Hyper Beam, and Ancient Power. I'm gonna see if I can survive his um, barrage of Earthquake, and hopefully this uh, Rock Slide can take it out. 
If he survived, yeah, he survived. Good. Uh, yes, I don't think he'll survive it though. I think he'll survive. Here we go. Good job, Kapoo Tops. There we go. Next, he's gonna send out Dragonite. Uh, there's two Dragonites, but two of them has different levels. So I will announce their mood when he sends it out. All right, we're gonna get, we're gonna take him out and put in Lapras. Let's see what he's gonna send out. It's 66 one. So Dragonite's level 66, Inner Focus, when it moves, Flamethrower, Earthquake, Hyper Beam, and Dragon Claw. Much better than the last one we had, we'll just say that. And it's gonna use Dragon Claw. Uh, Dragon Claw is special in this game, so uh, all right. It's okay damage. And this should hopefully take it down. Yes! Alright, next is this other Dragon Knight. Huh. Okay, you know what? We'll keep Lapras on the field. This other Dragon Knight is level 72, Prison Berry for its hold item with the ability to enter focus with the moves Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Hyper Beam, and Dragon Ray. Or Outrage. Outrage, sorry. And it's gonna use Thunderbolt. Oh, I should have switched with Jolteon. That'd be kind of crazy. Uh, okay. He survived. Cool, 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 cool. I might switch to, to Jolteon. It's gonna use Thunderbolt. Because I think like he'll use Thunderbolt. If he takes... Oh, good job, Lapras! Next is his Kingdra. This is a beast of awakening level 66 swift swim for ability dragon and water so it's only weak to dragon of all things with the move dragon dance ice beam surf and hyper beam so back in the original pokemon game gyarados used to be a dragon type it used to be dragon and water and the only weakness was dragon and the only move they had in that game was dragon rage and twister which is kind of funny you know how good they are so we're gonna hit this thing with the uh, Thunder Wave. So what this thing was gonna try to do, or what he's gonna try to do, is um, build up with uh, Dragon Dance and just annihilate it with Hyper Beam. Actually, just only Hyper Beam because that's the only thing can benefit it. Oh, I am not gonna survive that. Crap. Um. We can Venusaur out. So I have an idea. We're gonna Razor Leaf it. I didn't do much. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna hit it with a flame print and take it out. This should take it out. Woo! Oh, that's close. Yay! hit I have I hate to admit but you are the Pokemon master ah, damn why you have to say like that dude I still can't believe my dragons lost to you Josh you are now the Pokemon League champion or you would have been but you have one more challenge like wait what there is more one more trainer to face and his name is Gar he beat the League 4 before you, and he is the real Pokemon root champ. Wah! Wah! I beat him already before, I and mean, you saying I gotta beat him again? Ugh. Oh, Jotun was fainted. Never mind, so I couldn't do that trick I want to do. Oh, well. Alright, well, let's heal our Pokemon up and face the more. Face Gary again. Even though Blance totally forgot that I beat his ass, so it's time to beat his ass again. That's what it sounds like. Let's do this. Uh, we're gonna start with Thero. With this battle. Hey Josh, you come back Josh. Ah ha ha, that is so great. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on my Pokédex, I looked all over for Pokémon. Not only that, I assembled teams that could beat any type po Pokémon type. Now, I'm the Pokémon League Champ. Josh, you know what that means? I'll tell you, I am the most powerful trainer in the world. All right, this is the ultimate rematch. Gary versus me. 
Here we go. He's going to start with hair cross. Bug and fighting. Swarm for the ability. So the bug types will go pinch. It will get stronger if it's like 1 or if it's AP. Oh, 72. Mega Horn, Counter, Rock Tomb, and Earthquake. So if you have a flying type, this thing will 100% go down because it's quad weak to fighting. Or fighting. Flying. But this thing is a beast, by the way. Mega Horn, super strong bug type. Rock Tomb, with this good physical attack and take down flying types. Earthquake, oh my gosh. So pretty much it just covers its weakness with fire and flying and stuff like that. Next is going to be Tyranitar. It has its level 72, Sand Stream for the ability. Um, so as soon as that, we get Sandstorm, um, we get a Sandstorm throughout, throughout the rest of the battle. With the moves Crunch, Earthquake, Aerolace, and Thunderbolt. The reason I'm getting Venusaur out is because I don't believe this thing will take out a, uh, and of course we take that out. We're going to hit it with one Razor Leaf and nail it with a Flingy Plan. That's not even for some reason Razor Yeah, okay. Yeah, use Aerolace. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Holy crap. Now let's hit it with a flangy plant. This should go down. Yeah! Now he's gonna send out Alkazam, his most nightmare Pokemon. 73, synchronized for ability with a move, Psychic, Reflect, Calm Mind, and Shadow Ball. The only thing that's going to get a benefit of this is the Psychic from Calm Mind. Because Shadow Ball is physical, and physical is not the best, but it doesn't matter. It's still going to annihilate us. But, with, but usually Alkazin doesn't have the best physical uh, defense, so we'll see it with this Shadow Ball. See how much it will do. Alright, that is like over half. Oh, that's like it almost hurt. Oh my lord. Uh, he's gonna heal next turn for sure. Yeah, it's at red, so it's gonna 100% heal. Maybe I should have hit its quick attack then, then Shadow Ball, but I think you know, with the Shadow Ball itself, it'll be, just be fine. Alright, the Sandstorm's still raging, and. Since there's no way to change the sand, uh, the sandstorm, so we can't really stop the sandstorm. I kinda wish I could have a rain dead somewhere so I can stop the sandstorm, but it's whatever. Oh, Alkazam is going down! Yeah. Next is gonna send out Gyarados! Oh boy, that's kinda weird. Gyarados is level 73, Intimidate, with the moves Dragon Dance, Hydro Pump, Earthquake, and Hyper Beam. If you choose, this is because I'm a Venusaur. If you have Bulbasaur or Charmander, you will have Arcanine. Level 73, Intimidate for the ability with a boot and it moves. Overheat, Iron Tail, Arrow Lace, and Extreme Speed. So keep that in mind. So we'll hit it with a Thunderbolt. And yeah, it goes down. Cool. A lot of experience. Next, he's gonna send out Charizard. Oh my gosh, he's gonna send out his strongest Pokemon. Whew. All right, uh, we'll get Kabutops out. Uh, Charizard's gonna be level 75. Citrus Berry is a hold item with Blaze with the Moots, Fire Blast, Airways, Earthquake, and Dragon Call. But uh, Blastoise 75, Citrus Berry with Torment with Hot Rain Dance, Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, and Earthquake, and Venusaur. With Sunny Day, Solar Beam, Sludge Bomb, and Earthquake. All have the same uh, abilities, you know, with their, you know, make the grass, fire, and water stronger with the same hold item. And it's faster than me? Oh. This is gonna hurt. Oh, you survived. Good job, Koopa Tops. Please hit this rock slide. Please take it out. Your quad weakness to rock. Koopa Tops does have the height. Yes! Good stuff. Boot tops. Oh my gosh. Next, he's going to send out his last Pokemon. It was Executor with the moves Sleep Powder, Light Screen, Giga Drain, and Psychic. Uh, we're going to have Arcanine out. Apparently, I guess everybody showed some sign except for Lapras, I think. Alright. Sandstorm's still raping. Raging. <laughs> Rape. 
Trapping. Alright. Let's hit it with this flamethrower. Come on. It's gonna go down 100%. Yep, that's it! We're done! Yes, baby! Alright. No 66 Arcanine. No! That can't be! You beat me at my best! After all the work to become the Pokemon League champ! My reign is over already? It's not fair! And we got 7,500 Poke Dollars. Hey, yo. Why? Why did I lose? I never made my, any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Darn it! You're the new... What? The champion, although I don't like to admit it. Gosh! Well... Oh, you've won the Pokemon... You've won! Sincerely, congratulations. You're the new Pokemon League champ. You've grown up so fast since you first left with Bulbasaur to work on the Pokedex. Josh, you come, have come of age. Gary. I'm disappointed in you. I came here when I heard you beat in the League 4, but when I got here, you had already lost. Ooh. Dang. Oak is like savagery right there. Gary, you, do you understand why you lost? You have forgotten to treat your Pokemon with love and trust. Without them, you will never become a champ again. Gosh. You understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is ma marvelous. Gosh, come with me. Okay. <clears throat> Congratulations, Joshua. This floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honored to for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Josh, you have work so hard to become the Pokemon League champ. Congratulations, Josh. You are you and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. You got Firo, the level 65. Venusaur, level 65. Lapras, level 65. Goteon's level 66. Butos is level 65. And Arcanine, the 66. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Yay! League champion. Congratulations. Alright, well... I know this is a quick stream, but I'm trying to record this for YouTube's sakes. So this is it. This is Fire Red. Can't believe it. We already finished Fire Red. So what to think about the series? Man, it's been a good ride. I enjoyed it. every bit of it. You know, some ups and downs. Losing so hard at times and winning. And yeah. So where's my Pokemon gonna? Is my Pokemon journey gonna end? Hell no. Um, I've been thinking about this too. I'm thinking of trying to bring my headset so I can record most Pokemon stuff. But as right now, it's kind of up in the air because, you know, I have roommates and I don't think they want to hear me talk and stuff like that. And yeah, you know how that goes. But it's up in the air. If it's not, it's not. If it is, if I can't do it, you expect it. Uh, you know, Twitch TV. That and say a gamer. Well, of course you can go on YouTube because you know I do deck profiles and stuff like that. So anything can help. Um, man, I just can't believe this is already over. I enjoy every bit of it. I hope y'all enjoy it a lot. It has been, man, I just can't believe it. Like how we started playing Pokemon Part One and gone through all eight parts to beat the whole game and doing the extra content and so on and so forth i enjoyed it but what's gonna be my next pokemon game well i'm just gonna say it's not gonna be leaf green even though i've been thinking about it i might actually do a pokemon leaf green and make it a new role that i can't use the same pokemon that i use for this generation so example i can't use uh i can't
can't use um, the team I have. So, you know, Arcanine, Firo, uh, let's see, uh, Jolteon, uh, Kabutops, and stuff like that. I I'm going to say maybe I just won't use that. I'm going to try my special, my, my, I'll try my best to try play without them. Try play with the newer Pokemon because you know there's so many Pokemon you can go for and get, and there's so many good ones out there that you could actually use. Hell, I was been thinking about maybe getting a Heracross and a Tyranitar during that time and replace the two Mons I don't need anymore. I want to try out, but again, it's just it will just be a lot of tedious training and try to get to the, their levels, and it will be way more to uh, grind to get to that level. For facing the League 4 rematch. Like, if they are easier to access, then yeah, I will 100% do it. But since it's not, I can't really say I want to do that. But I can start doing the Pokemon. I've been thinking about doing the Pokemon Game Boy games. So, like Crystal. But it's up in the air. I'm going to try to figure out how to do a uh, emulator for DS so I can do like Soul Silver maybe. Or uh, Soul Silver Heart Gold. Or, um, whatchamacallit. Or do, you know, the Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Because Platinum is, like, one of my favorite Pokemon games of all time. Uh, oh, actually, well, excuse me. Emerald is one of my favorite. Platinum is, like, second. And so is my third. So maybe I'm going to do those before jumping on the other versions. Maybe I should do Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Like, you know, Ruby, do the Ruby stuff. Sapphire, do the Sapphire stuff. And do Emerald for the Emerald stuff. I didn't think about that a lot. Maybe that's the thing I'm going to do next. Maybe... Next series, we'll do Pokemon Leaf Green. Try to catch, you know, do what I need to do for Leaf Green to make my team. You know, it can't be the stuff I already use. And, yeah. I think that'll be a great idea. So, next time, on the next Pokemon series, we'll tackle Leaf Green. And see if we can do our best with Leaf Green. Just remember, I just cannot use any of the newer Pokemon I have. But everything else is up in the air. But this time I'm not going to do completion sakes. I'm just going to do, you know, this for the story. And of course, first credit. And yeah, see how good I am. So before we end it off, let's say goodbye to my team. But first, let's do the flashback by beating Lorelei, Bruno, um, Apatha, Ap and Lance. And we beat Gary. Anyway, let's say goodbye to Firo, Venusaur, Lapras, which is going to be a hard Pokemon to replace, Goteon, the Boot Tops. And Arcanine. Alright guys. This is it. I can't believe I'm going to say this. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.